Hello, everybody. I think I'm almost ready to get started. Welcome, Chris. Today's going to be a short stream. I figured... Let me just revisit Vampire Survivors. It's been a long time since we played it. We played once since it came out in the official release. Got a good soundtrack, if nothing else, Chan. I'd like to view it that way. If nothing else, it's an hour and a half. A really solid soundtrack. So, we're going to double check that CC is on, because that's how we played last time. It has been a long time, Leneth. It has, it has been, been a long, a long time. time, Leneth. Okay, I'm just looking to see what our unlocks are. Okay, we got cool. Pull down. Everything else is fine. Plus one projectiles is huge for progress. I believe we played with Axe. So we have not played with a lot of the other sub weapons. So if we do level them up, I think, to near max, we end up unlocking um, new characters and things like that. So it looks like if we're given the chance, we probably need to play with Holy Water, Cross, and Bible to get new things, as well as Fire Wand. But it has been a while. I'm trying to remember what items even went with them. So as a general reminder, you need basically a weapon plus a passive item in order to upgrade them. It might have been like Fire Wand plus Spinach, for example. Fireball! But it has been, as I said before, quite a long time since we played. So we have not even unlocked Dairy Plant, because I think the Dairy Plant is the thing that gives us uh, access to the map. So it looks like we're going to be going to the library, which is fine. Oh wow, we only have two characters unlocked? Because I didn't buy any of the other ones? That's awkward. Um... Yes, we'll play as Imelda. I could see which things I've beaten them with, which is interesting. Yep. <laughs> I mean, as I said before, we, we did lose all of our upgrades, to be fair. I guess I'll start with her there, just to try somebody different. Okay. Yeah, we could see all these other things. I could go up to the plant area, but there's no point to doing that yet. I think the other place is called the Bone Zone. And I don't know what this one is. I think that's new. As is Mount Moon Spell. I have not played that one either. But I don't think it makes sense to do those if we haven't even gotten past stage 2. Because I know how brutal this game can be. We've not unlocked a hyper of any of these yet either. So we don't have any other options here. Okay, so what I do remember is that there's an item if we go to the right and a character. Uh, let's get the cross. Oh, actually, I didn't see the Twitch integration. One second, let's quit out. Oh, it says it at the top, but I didn't see the... Well, maybe... Because normally it prompts. It doesn't let me just do it. I'm just making sure everything is enabled. I see I saw it in the upper left. Maybe it just got really confused. There we go. Okay, so so it remember okay, so it remembered that that's I think what I called it, but it didn't actually connect to the Twitch. So my bad. Cuz I was like, "Wait a minute, I got a free choice there. That didn't make sense." <laughs> like CC mode. It'll technically be set up from last time. If we pick this, we should basically... Yeah, now you should have abilities. There we go. Oh, I think chat gave me Santa water. Oh, 
Oh, maybe it's the clover and the cross. Yeah, I wish I could add more time to it. Chat has chosen garlic. That's not bad in this area. I remember having fun with garlic in this one. Yeah, we need to build some meter. Oh, Empty Tome is a lot of fun. I'm glad we unlocked that. Candelabra, I think, is with the axe. Fire Wand is new. Empty Tome just makes me attack way faster, which is really strong. I think with the wand, it has a combo. Oh no, Chad has a selection of pet, twin piles, or jelly swarm. I think jelly swarm is XP. I don't remember what twin piles are, other than probably horrendous. We'll find out, I guess. Hmm, what pairs with Santa water? Is that before? It has been a long time since I played. Ooh, spinach for the fire wand in the future. I like that thought process. I know I could basically just walk into them with spinach. Nice heal. Oh, oh, pet is in like you pet the character. Got it. Makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, cooldowns is probably the strongest, but honestly, all of these are pretty good. All of them affect my damage in a positive manner. I don't really care. Yeah, that's fun. Because that just means I can bump into them more quickly like this. A good survivor uses, pretty much. Hollow Harp is the whip. Armor is... I don't remember. Is that Bible? No, it can't be. Yeah, Axe, Axe super good. Luck boost, Imp Swarm, Twin Piles. Yeah, we know luck influences uh, what drops from the candle, Labras. Oh, Rebound Stone. You're right. Yeah, I think it's Rebound Stone. That sounds correct. I don't even think we have Rebound Stone unlocked yet, because we have to get the character first. Alright, so we could get another weapon. So we don't have the Clover for the Cross, but we do have the Fire One Spinach. Or Upgrading Garlic is fun. Nice. We have multiple things that potentially... Oh, there's the Imp Swarm. And so far, I'm not taking a lot of damage, which is good. You need to level, though, at some point. I think I'm going to brute force into them. I don't remember what crown went towards. Oh, it went towards the exploding one. Oh no, Chad gave me the crown. I don't think I have the counterpart to that. That was the one that eventually ticks off. Although maybe I have to level the crown in order to get the item. I think it's fair to still give it to me regardless. Free passive? Attra oh, attract orb in Santa water. Hmm, that was the counterpart. Yeah, Pichone is terrible. I hate Pichone. Okay, so we got one of the upgrade items. If we end up getting the Attract Orb, that would be for Santa Water. Free passive, really strong. Hopefully Chad gives me free passive. Shooting Star means I get attacked. I remember that from last time. Alright, so we have another chance at the Attract Orb. Otherwise, we can level Magic Wand, maybe. More projectiles is fun. Oh no. See, Chad has chosen violence against me. Oh, they made that way shorter in duration. That thing used to hunt me. Oh, that wasn't too bad then. Uh, could lock in a final item or increase wand. 
our damage is definitely on the low end right now, and I think it's just because we've picked up new weapons like every single time. If we could just max cooldown, we'll be in such a good position. I'm not going to save this chest. I think we need the upgrade. Right, so now, now we should be attacking faster. Oh yeah, see how we're struggling to get the kills here? That's not a good sign. At panic time or crab fest. There you go. Alright, we have one last chance at the attract orb. Laurel, I don't remember what that pairs with offhand. I don't think it's a thing that we have. Alright, we got the attract orb, which will help with leveling. And I'm taking a lot of damage. I don't remember if I got regen on this character or not. We'll find out. Okay, so as long as we just continue to improve our items, it shouldn't be too bad. Armor does help with actually winning the run, but I don't really care one way or another. As long as we just pick up those upgrades, I'm happy at this point. Why is it telling me like I missed something over here? I'm going to walk this way to see what it is. Oh. Uh, I'm really glad I stopped time there. That could have been much worse. Why is it telling me to go left? You know what? I'm going to ignore it. I think I'm dead here. Or the time stop. I found the time stop. Okay. That could have gone much worse. Yeah, double time stop there. We got lucky for sure. And more candelabra range. Oh man, they're spawning giant walls to stop me from getting through. This is brutal. This is way okay. That is way more brutal than shooting star. Holy fire breathing, pretty strong. Ultra swarm might not be completely terrible. Dragon swarm sounds cool, but probably deadly. Uh, we finally picked up an upgrade here. Welcome in Parameter. Uh, honestly, any is probably fine. Ooh, with the AoE up, the, the Santa Water is finally starting to do things. Why are the crabs still here? Oh my gosh, get away from me. Thank you. Oh, there's the pentagram. Okay, so we have the thing that pairs with uh, the crown. Although, sadly, that I was going to say, sadly, that's probably going to nuke all the XP. That's fine. We got the crown just for this reason. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we unlocked that pentagram earlier. It looks like we did. Okay, I got some healing in. Our damage is okay right now. But I think as long as we just keep leveling up our weapons, we should be fine. It's like Magic Wand will push them back. Fire Wand will be the kill. Santa Water will be carrying us, I think, until the end. So either way, we need all these upgraded. At this point, we've locked in our weapon choices. Luck Boost, Gravity Juggle, Panic Time. I'm going to pick this up. Free pentagram upgrade. Goodbye, all that XP. Rip the XP. Uh, I think as long as we don't focus on too many passives, we should be good. Because our weapons are pretty weak. Oh yeah, passive it is. <laughs> I was going to say, because we, we need some projectiles out here for sure. Let's clear our way through here. At least it's spinach. It could be a worse passive. Like AoE, I think at this point doesn't really matter. Yeah, base damage 10 or fire as a projectile. Or I guess technically if we max spinach, that eventually we end up at fire wand. My preference is always the weapons first. 
Oh, luck boost. Nice. It means I should start popping candelabras thanks to the chat. Ooh, perfect pickup. Oh, that's gonna help so much with our levels. I, I picked up an attract, which is pulling stuff from off screen. Unfortunately, thanks to garlic, it does make our magic wand a lot stronger. So good choice from the chat on that one. Rosary, which I think is an insta kill. I don't know what a drowner is. Ghost swarm times ten. Is XP as long as it's killable? I guess that wouldn't, wouldn't be too bad. We eventually just have to keep going to the right because there's the curse mask or whatever. Oh, there's our pentagram going off. That might save us later. I took a lot of damage that I should not have taken. Uh oh. Oh, and that's the that's the name of the. Th oh no. Um. How do I how do I even how do I even deal with that on this stage? Wait. Do I just die? I don't know if I can even hit him on this stage. I'm used to seeing him as like the advanced thing in other areas. Yeah, I don't think I can hit him with my core abilities. This might be GG. I don't have anywhere to run. And he outspeeds me. Yeah, I think this is GG. Chat killed me. <laughs> GG. <laughs> that that is an instant game over. I cannot survive that. Rip run. But I did get more money. Uh oh, I don't have recovery. Uh well I guess I don't know if it matters this early on. Get one upgrade there. We'll try again. Yeah, that's really strong. I'm surprised that's an option that early. I, I would understand that at like the 15 minute mark. But we were kind of early in the run. I didn't even have an upgraded weapon yet. That was a bit brutal. Lock Lancet, whips. I like how it says whip is new. I guess technically we haven't used the whip. Like, it technically was on the other character. Oh man, we don't have garlic anymore. Can't power level. Her problem is that she has the very awkward stats, and until I get another weapon, she feels really awkward to level with. Either we power level magic wand or something else. At least I'm forced to get a weapon upgrade here, no matter what. Nice. Because I believe this area has a free tombstone, or... Yeah, whatever. The, the thing that gives us the cooldown. I'm just gonna try to level as quickly as I can here. Empty Tome, thank you. So Clover, I think, pairs with the cross. Laurel pairs with, I think, Clock Lancet. Empty Tome is probably the best passive in the game. Thank you, John. That thing is like the the run the run completer. It just needs any weapon to go with it. But yeah, I don't think we even have, like, the duplicator yet. That's kind of crazy. We gotta unlock those items. Light sources. Nice. Should be able to get some items there. Oh no, we do have lightning ring. Interesting. Yeah, lightning ring is one of those ones where I don't think it's, like, a hard carry, but it, it definitely helps. Good that we unlock that. Yeah, I think we're a little too early in the runs for like Clock Lancet plus Laurel to make a difference. Later on, that's like the only thing that I want. <laughs> but right now, I don't think it matters. I don't think we have the, the pieces needed to, to become OP. Um. Ooh, trouble killing. 
Come on, Bible. Do your thing. Yeah, this is where she kind of struggles. Because she doesn't have, like, an AoE yet, other than the Bible. So it's like, her starting weapon is very, very weak. It's really great if you could get her started, because she gets bonus XP. But weirdly, I don't know if she actually outlevels other people due to her insanely bad start. Yeah, because now at least I can treat this like garlic, where I could kind of walk into them a little bit. Oh, chat with the food. Watch. I'll stay here for a while then. Yeah, like if I didn't have the Bible right now, I would not be able to kill like half of the things that are fighting us right now. Clover, I think, pairs with Ross. Bible. This is Bible. Oh, you gave me Pichone. Oh, that's hateful. This thing is <laughs> super awkward to use. And the fact that our cooldown is at max means it's basically useless. Oh man, that thing is so awkward. Oh, Pichone. I have no faith in you. If it gets even like 100k damage before the end, I would be very surprised. I remember playing with this with the pre-release. It is so awkward. Racer, I think, is for knife. Crown is for pentagram. Good aim, Pichone. Yeah, brutal. Oh, yeah. Hello, Bible. Briefly, we have the stacks due to the level up. Okay, chat healed me. We need, we need something. Like, we're, we're not quite getting the clears. Oh, no. Our choices are Attractor, Pichone, or Bracer. That's terrible. Attractor doesn't do anything for damage. Bracer doesn't do anything with our current stats. Oh no, we upgraded Pichone. Yeah, right now, until we get cooldown reduction, Pichone is not constantly firing. Which is the big problem with Pichone, is that it just has really big gaps. Like, I could get it to kind of hit stuff, but not really. I would like to get a new item before we take that treasure chest. Wings, I think goes with Pichone, technically. The chat wants to power up Pichone. I think it's Wings. Knife for Bracer, Laurel for whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna need the movement speed with Pichone to dodge things. I guess that's one way of getting through things. If we don't take armor. Ooh, empty tome would be so big. Chat, you'd be powering up Pichone. <laughs> I... <laughs> yeah, there we go. More Pichone all the time. Yeah, now it has more uptime. Once the cooldown is maxed there, we're going to be super set. Oh, flame boost. Fire breathing's huge. Oh, we did manage to get to garlic if we wanted it. Otherwise, I think any of these are probably okay. As long as we get the counterpart, I think they're fine. Ooh, knives for consistent damage. Okay. So we'll need the bracer, which will technically speed up Pichone. Yeah, see how it's like... Yeah, interesting that it's showing us the evolution here. I guess maybe because we did in the other playthrough. That does speed up the spin speed of Bible, which helps a little bit. Pichone turning off right as the big swarm is in front of me. Thank you, Pichone. Oh man, cooldown reduction, please. I beg of you. <laughs> if we can get Pichone up all the time, then it's actually okay. Then I can just consistently do knife damage. There we go.
Mon Pichone. Don't attack the bottom of the screen, please. Thank you. Should be able to get a little bit of XP here. Okay, Axe, potentially, or could level up Magic Wander Wings. We haven't gotten a weapon evolution yet. I'm fine with anything, honestly. Should be like... Oh no, Gravity Juggle is here. Our choices are Whip, which I think needs Hollow Heart to upgrade. Or Santa Water uh, for AoE clear, or just Spinach for damage. Okay, more damage. Make Pachone stronger. I don't know what Gravity Juggle did, to be honest with you. I am going to take this, though. Okay, I've upgraded Dagger. Yeah, we don't have Garlic to push the enemy back, but... The run is okay so far. We at least have consistent damage, thanks to the Empty Tome. The chat can choose to increase the projectile speed of knives and magic wands. Somewhat useful. Fractor. But we eventually need Santa Water if you want that. Make Pichuna shoot faster. Or at least put less of a delay on Pichone. Might be more accurate. The Hollow Heart for the whip. Do we have all the other counterparts? Yeah, we're just missing weapons mostly. Base damage up on one would be huge. We are attacking pretty quickly now. There we go. Oh, we're actually almost going to get to the end of Magic Wand. That would be huge. <laughs> or check at level Pichone, honestly. It's pro I'm fine with either. It's not wings. Oh, chat trolling. We need damage. At least I can pick up that chest in a moment. Oh no, crab fest again. Uh, uh, chat actually trolling. I don't think I can survive this. GG. <laughs> it's like, Chad I, I, Chad, I don't have damage yet. <laughs> I won't survive that. We got really lucky the other time, in case it wasn't clear. Okay, I'm switching characters. I I think her XP start is too terrible. I, I don't think with a CC I can win with her. We're different characters. I need guaranteed damage, which she does not provide. Yeah, Crowd Fest is definitely one of the most deadly. Like, Shooting Star, I think they nerf compared to when we last had it. Because I remember that lasting for like 5 million years. But uh, no, Crab Fest is too powerful. If we had uh, armor on, I think I would have been fine. But like, I, I physically just can't deal with that many enemies. It's basically like having you at like the 20 minute rush. But if I'm not ready for the 20 minute rush, I just die. Like there's no in between. But now that I have consistent damage, we should be doing a lot better here. Chat murdered their own Pichone. You could have you could have leveled Pichone, Chad, and unlocked Pichone. Oh, <laughs> Jack giving me wings. Pichone lives on in the hearts. Chad. Minnow rush? Oh no. Yeah, Hollow Heart is the upgrade to this one. Honestly, I would say early on, even though we don't have the thing for it, armor is actually surprisingly good for survival. Like, that would make me survive Crab Fest. If chat wants to Crab Fest me, I need armor. But Hollow Heart is appreciated. Eventually, we'll get hit point recovery with the whip if we could get to the point where we level it. Clover for cross, racer. 
I think chat's gonna embrace their inner Pachone. <laughs> they they want Pachone to come back. Pachone, I think, is uncommon, so it's not gonna show up as often as the other weapons. Oh. Chat offering the peace offering of Chicken Bonanza. Yeah, Pichone is not guaranteed to pop up. There's there's basically a rarity system within the game. Things like Bible are very common, but other ult weapons are not going to show up as often. You could try to hold out for Pichone. It might happen. If I get luck up, I'm more likely to get it. Just due to the fact that I'll have four options. I think pretty much all of these are fine. I think all of them upgrade pretty easy. Chat doing their best to avoid overriding Pichone. Yeah, AoE up is pretty huge for Santa Water and everything else. Oh, shooting star. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was a single shooting star versus a multi shooting star. Never mind. Maybe they didn't change it since last time. So, another chance at armor or more damage. Right now, we haven't upgraded a weapon in a while, so our damage is going to start falling off pretty hard in the next couple of levels. Alright, that's huge, actually. Double projectile here. Means I have a verticality. I could do this. Damn, Chacha's Rosary, the amount of existence. Yeah, we needed that versus the Drowner, for sure. Then I would have survived. Yeah, this character could be a little awkward before we get our full upgrades. Yeah, sadly we don't have the cross, so Clover doesn't really do anything at the moment. Oh, base damage up. I think Whip, for the most part, is now able to one-shot everything here, which does help with the clear. Ooh, light source's panic time. I don't remember what panic time is. I think it's something horrible. I think it's arguably much worse than Shooting Star, if I remember correctly. Oh, there's Empty Tome. Oh, chat gives that to me. Oh my gosh. That thing is such a damage multiplier. Because that's faster whip, faster eventually Pichone. More Santa Water is always nice. It's interesting it hasn't given us a track dwarf yet, despite having uh, the hope of the Santa Water for a while. It's, I think it does weight it a little bit, that if you have the item, it'll try to give you the passive at some point. Panic time is activated. Magic Wand wouldn't be terrible. We do have the Tomb to upgrade it. Otherwise, Santa Water is probably the best. Ah, uh, that's fun. Ah. Uh, it is what I thought it was. Well, GG chat. <laughs> I, I don't think I, you, you're killing me way too early. <laughs> I cannot survive those things at all. Too early. I, I, don't, I know you have faith that we're going to survive the run. I don't have faith. Those things do way too much damage. Yeah, that's... I'm like, I knew it was terrible. <laughs> That one isn't too bad if I have garlic, but if I don't have garlic or like magic wand, I just kind of die to that. I, I don't really have a hard counter to that. There's not too much I could do about that, honestly. Again, that's one of those ones where maybe at the 10 minute mark, I would be able to kill it, but chat doing it when I only have two weapons at level two, like I am not surviving that chat. I'm not sorry, <laughs> I'm dying every time. That's You might as well just say run delete. Unless you give me armor, as I said before, if I ever end up with armor, I will survive that kind of stuff. Without armor, that just kills me instantly. More Santa water. We're going for the same build as before. Oh my gosh, free passive. Well, actually, it's kind of weird to get free passive right now. I'm not sure what that would do. Because I think that would still count against the limit. I mean, I guess it would help to get a free upgrade still, but we'll see. 
Shooting Star is fairly tame. I could survive Shooting Star. Ecto Swarm might give us levels. There's some that are not as terrible. I don't think that's as powerful as Crab Fest or Panic Time, if I remember correctly. Hollow Heart, Santa Water, and a Tract Orb. Though according to this, we have never done the Santa Water evolution because it's not telling me a Tract Orb and Santa Water combined. That tells me straight up that Chad has killed me before I've assembled the combo. Finish. I guess I'll pick it up now. I guess I could have left it there technically, but I think I'd rather have it now. I feel like chat will probably block me from getting that later. If we get Fire Wand, that would be huge. Now we have a Tractor for our current thing or Knife for damage. Clover, if we get the Cross, would be good because I don't think we've done that upgrade still. Okay, so we got a Tractor, so we might get the Santa Water one, maybe. Ooh, it is so brutal without Empty Tome. Come on, Empty Tome. Armor is finally here, but we can also level up Santa Water. Yeah, basically we're taking like upwards of like 7 damage a hit. There we go. Now I can survive things. Once we get Lifesteal from Whip, Armor comes in super clutch for survival. I actually really like Whip plus Armor quite a bit. Before we get like our super broken endgame items. I still don't know what Gravity Jungle did, to be honest with you. I don't know if it was supposed to flip the screen or something. I didn't really notice the difference. I thought it was going to, like, inverse my controls or something. But uh, it did not end up doing that. Oh, we do have Spinach and Fire Wand. That's not a bad combo. But surprisingly, we haven't gotten the Fire Wand upgrade. For damage. Can't complain about that. Okay, Santa Water is triggering just enough. We have two free slots left. Hopefully one of them will be Empty Tome. We have armor to survive the hard fights. Basically, I have a little bit of health, which scales really well with armor. We don't have weapons. On either that or Empty Tome. Empty Tome would be so huge here. Fire Wand again. I don't think we want Crown, because it's kind of late for that. Oh, I'll take the AoE up. Yeah, the other thing I sometimes do is Candelabra, because I like having more whip range. Ah, uh, Flower Wall. That one's not terrible. I can play around this. As I said before, some of them are a lot more... forgiving, I guess the word. Downside, though, our whip is very slow right now. Yeah, we're missing, like, a magic wand or, like, a fire wand. We're, like, just not able to, like, single target right now. Which will be a problem very soon for us. Oh, no. Chat, chat held off for Pichone. I see Pichone. <laughs> chat loves the Pichone. It's over. I don't even have any cooldown reductions. It's gonna be brutal. Oh, they actually died over time. Yeah, that was fine. I could survive that. I really desperately need a weapon. I have, like, almost nothing but passives.
Oh, Pichone, you do literally nothing right now. Ooh, healing is nice. Alright, so chat has to pick a weapon. <laughs> so, I think this is fine. I know it's going to Pichone. I don't even have to guess. Embrace Burp. Yeah, we need... If you want to power up Pachone, we'll need Wing, and then we'll need uh, Empty Tome, which will probably be our final slots. And then after that, if we get, like, Fire Wand, I guess we're good. At some point, we need to pick a Fire Wand. It's not a rush for it. I am I would be way more interested in cooldown, though. Let's see if we could get it. Uh... Magic Wand would be okay. Santa Water leveling up would be huge. Armor up is also fine. Yeah, there we go. I think we can level up every weapon that we have currently, which is nice. We still have a free slot for the wing. I'm gonna pick up the treasure chest in a little bit. I wanna wait until we have uh, a couple more items. I think the only mistake here would be Laurel. I don't think we want Laurel. Track Dwarb is eh. We need damage. I right, chat agreed. Then I can get Pichone faster. Just frame everything in context of Pichone. What will improve Pichone? That was the strong rosary. How did that miss the boss? That's such a shame. Lightning Ring, I don't remember what its counterpart was offhand, to be honest. I'm not even sure if we have it. I mean, it's it's a good item, but... Okay, bigger radius. Oh, it is... Du uh, yeah, I don't know if we've unlocked Duplicator, though. I don't know if we need Lightning Ring to unlock Duplicator. There's some items where they're a bit awkward like that. Oh, there's Empty Tome. Oh, chat, you want to power up Pichone. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Faster Pachone. It will achieve its true potential. I think it would be okay to pick this up now. Oh, I got a whip upgrade. That's huge. Yeah, you can see with the, just a the little bit of cooldown... We're, we're basically crowd controlling them, which is nice. Magic Wand, I think, pairs with the Tome. Otherwise, we could just level Santa Water. Armor is like a great finisher. The fact that we even have one, I think, is good enough for now. Actually, yeah. There we go. Four projectiles is good. You can see I'm taking already so much less damage making contact with them. Probably in like 10 minutes, I'll be asking for armor <laughs> over other options. Right now, I think we're fine. Unless you summon death at me, then I just die. Oh, there's Fire Wand, finally. That would give us boss damage, potentially. Yeah, there we go. Well, fire Breathing's huge. We're so close to maxing a weapon. Whip is getting pretty close. Ooh, nothing really pairs with what we have. Oh, wait, wait if Ch wait, chat has to choose cross here or else they lock out Pachone. Okay, chat, chat with the clutch decision there. They almost locked out Pachone. We're running out of passive slots. Yeah, fire breathing definitely better than fire one at the moment. Uh, at least I have some AoEs, which will help with a little bit with the clears. On level ups. Not a lot of enemies spawning, which kind of blows. Garlic, I think, is okay. I think garlic is the regen item if you get the other one. Otherwise, Pachone. 
I'll embrace Pachone here. I'm gonna hold off on the chest because I don't want to lock chat out of Pachone upgrades. Thought about it. I'm gonna at least level a couple more times to give chat a chance to get the, the wing. Oops, I walked into the enemy. That was my bad. Yeah, the cross here pushing away the other enemies is kind of huge. Come on, get some levels. There we go. We're starting to make progress. Yeah, another thing that makes this character a little stronger than the other one, this character has a natural uh, higher armor total. So he's just more able to survive nonsense on the screen. Here's the pet. Nice. Come on. I might have to force that chest. We are not getting kills. Bit sad. There's a boss. Right. No Pachone so far. Although Whip is almost at max upgrade. Whip damage is okay. Yeah, we at least have some things that push enemies away, which is nice. We didn't get a chest from that, but we got XP. That's fine. Summon Molise. I think that'll probably kill me. One more level up. Come on. There we go. So far, still no wings. We're holding out. Whip set. Ooh, gonna hit max. That's huge. So potentially, if we max out heart now, we could get something fun. Again, I'm holding off on that chest as long as I can. Come on. Probably armor over health. Although health for the whip. Actually, either is fine. I think chat doesn't want garlic though. Yeah. Fortunately, they're below me, which is not much I could do with. I think I just got a force. I desperately want that health. Get away from me, all these enemies. I'm surprised we haven't been given an opportunity to level the cooldown one. How did... Oh, this is terrible. How did we end up with such bad choices? Uh, pfft. Lose, lose here. Chat can't choose crown, though. I guess Laurel is probably the least terrible. Come on, game. Be a little, be a little more kind with these item drops, please. I think due to my luck score, we're not seeing wings pop up. Oh, thank you, Empty Tome. We need you so bad right now. We're just not DPSing enough. This will fix it. Do we have some Laurel survivability, which will help with lifesteal later? Alright, so our damage output's already, like, insanely better. Should be able to level pretty quickly here. There we go. Still don't see wings. The damage up will help. It will power up Pachone. Unlock ultimate level Pachone. Sadly, due to the items picked up, we can't do Candelabra plus Pachone. That would have been kind of sick. Another boss. The whip is doing some good damage right now. I still don't see it, which is sad. I think luck I think luck would make the whip crit more often, but unfortunately, no wings for chat so far. Yeah, effect lasting longer is huge. 
So that means I could kind of hide it in it for a while. Yeah, whip so far is just kind of cleaving through everything. So it's just been kind of our, our rock for the most part. Cat's going to lose their mind if we get the wing. If it somehow gives you three passives, I would I would be very upset at the game. Well, there's wing. There you go, chat. You you held you held fast for that wing. Jeez, that was that was terrible luck for making it appear. What was that? Like 12 upgrades before wing appear? That was garbage. Oh, nice heal. So we're almost so I move quickly now. Which helps a little bit with positioning. So we just need max heart level, and then we need to, I guess, do Empty Tome. We have Laurel, so I can Brute Force every now and then. There we go. Actually, in this game, do I even need to hit max heart in order to upgrade a weapon? I don't remember. Let's find out, I guess. No, I don't need it. Okay, I could have picked that up earlier. There we go. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, I think we're good for a while. There you go, chat. I'm remembering mechanics. We're good. So now I have armor plus lifesteal, which is huge. So the, the odds of winning the run are going up pretty high because we finally got an evolved form of something. Sadly, I don't think we have luck with the cross, so I don't think we could level the cross to get anything. So Sandal Water is the only thing that I think can upgrade here. Uh, we don't have Ricochet Stone, but I I think armor is so strong right now, it's fine. Once we get enough character gold, I think we will probably get a couple points in armor. That'll make the runs a lot more survivable. Damn, chat summon Light Source, and one of them had Rosary in it. I'm going to leave that chest for later. I think I'm going to pick this up now, though. I mean, I think all of these are good right now. I don't have a preference. They all effectively help me become invincible. Yeah, so we don't have a lot of crit luck. Because we never picked up any luck items, but... Pretty good at not getting enemies away. <laughs> oh no, Pachone's getting leveled. I mean, cooldown reduction's huge. It does make it more useful. Another rosary, interesting. See, now we're at the point where it'd be interesting. Like, I think some of the swarms I would survive at this point. So that ended up just being free XP. But Rosary's still pretty strong. Yeah, thanks to armor, I'm not dying instantly. As well as lo uh, the Laurel. The Laurel helps a lot, too. We could just get our weapons to max. I could use these chests. Ooh, empty tome would be huge. I'll take that over the fire wand any day. It empowers Pachone. Uh, so that's just a lot more damage per second. Which means more healing per second, which means more Santa water per second. Nice. Yeah, once Empty Tome hits level 5, it, it'll be over for like the next 7 minutes. There we go. Dana Water almost at max, so I can almost pick up a treasure chest. That would be huge, because it following us, I know it does like a bajillion damage. So we'll have a close range nuke with our uh, whip. 
Also, now that I'm on the new computer, I'm not noticing any slowdown issues like when we first played. So thank you, new powerful computer. Ooh, Bat Swarm. I think I get some XP from that. That's not too bad. Yeah, sadly, Cross, I don't think, in level. The Laurel is kind of a dead item in our inventory, too. It's kind of unfortunate you were forced into that choice. I mean, we'll take more damage up from the Cross. Don't get me wrong. It is just free damage. Yeah, like here, if I didn't have Lifesteal, I would be in so much trouble. Ooh, Empty Toe. Let's go. <laughs> I don't care if I have Fire Wands upgrade. It'll be nice eventually. The cooldown is more important. For sure. Because that just means I get XP faster. Yeah, I'm already near constantly whipping, which is huge. Wow. Look how fast we're starting to clear now. Oh, I saw luck boost. Luck boost would be huge. Oh, Santa Water. Oh, Santa Water's gonna hit max. 368. Nice. I could go pick that up. Good job, chat. I'll pick up one of these. There we go. I think this is the first time in this run we've gotten it before. Yeah, we just have... Since we don't have projectiles speed up, they're just gonna very slowly... Slowly improve. Uh-oh, Pachone's there. Base area by 40%? That's kind of huge. More projectile Pachone. Luck boost is huge. And unlocked another slot. Oh, empty tome's so good, but if chat chooses Pachone, I understand. <laughs> chat wants Pachone at max potential. Where's Medusa? I understand, chat. You can't you can't go against Pachone. Oh, Pachone almost there. So now that chat boosted my luck, the odds of getting Pachone is higher. <laughs> And I'm critting more often, which is a good combo. Yeah, you can see I'm kind of able to walk into most things now, thanks to Laurel plus armor. This combo is starting to work out. We do have treasure chests to pick up eventually. But I'd prefer to hold a little longer if we can. Oh, unless library is only 20 minutes. I guess we'll know in a couple minutes if we're at the end. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Pachone unlock. Another 40% area increase. The fact that we're only at one armor and I'm basically invincible right now is a good sign. Go upgrade Pachone. Tract orb. Oh, do you need the other one in order to get Pachone to upgrade with Wing? Maybe I need the Blackbird. Welcome, Murphy. Library's 30. Thank you, Murphy. My bad. I guess it's a dual upgrade. We might not even have the Blackbird unlocked, but maybe because we leveled Pachone, it'll appear. Regardless, hitting level 8 with something will give us a new ability, because we're very early in the game. Alter Roulette. Uh, not too bad. I could deal with that. Welcome, Murphy. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, sadly, we can't level up our other items. But no matter what we get here, it should be fine. Wow, even with the luck boost, we still didn't get a fourth option. That's brutal. 
<laughs> Chat's like, more luck. Trying to figure out the least annoying graphics driver version right now. Sorry to hear that. Good luck in your ventures, Murphy. I could beeline over to the, the items to the right, maybe. Ooh, luck up is huge. Oh, empty tome, let's go. Oh yeah, true, we could technically upgrade fire one still. But 8% 8, 8 on uh, empty tome is so huge. More Pachone. I think Pachone should be firing const almost constantly. Almost. So I should at least stick around for this upgrade. I think at this point the only thing worth leveling is probably Fire Wand so we could get the final upgrade. <clears throat> After that I don't think it matters as much. His base damage up on four fireballs is kind of nice. Fireball indeed. I mean fortunately the Santa Water should keep me somewhat safe. Ultra Roulette. Jonay dumping on a boss real quick. Nice. Yeah, my, some items is as a before. We have to hit max level and that unlocks more items. So no matter what, we're go like unlocking armor to potentially max will be useful. Getting weapons will definitely be the most useful. Because I think those are guaranteed unlocks. Wow, even with this luck boost, we're not one-shotting these enemies. That's crazy. I would like to save these chests for later, but I might be forced to pick one up now. Wow, how are none of these the fire ones? <laughs> Why are they all passives? Game, please. Oh, good call. Damage up. Empower Pachone. Yeah, please not the Drowner. That'll be the run under. Oh, nice Whoa. Rosary. Wah, indeed. There we go. I'm gonna pick up one of these chests now. Just, just to get this upgrade out of the way. I was trying to hold off and be greedy, but... I feel like we've been getting very bad RNG with the passives. Okay, finally Fire Wand is back. It only took like 30 levels. <laughs> Game please. There we go. Ooh, free passive. Well, free passive might actually be useful. Just because uh, we don't have the thing for cross. If that turns out to be the clover, that would be huge. Otherwise, free passive is free passive. No complaints. Because that will let me go over my normal limit. As long as it doesn't put it, like, out of reach, I think we'll be fine. Gave me armor? Oh, that's... I didn't think it was allowed to give me ones I already had. I mean, I'll take it. I just thought it was guaranteed to give me a new one. Oh, well. There's Fire Wand again. That's a shame. 
I guess if I had waited, I don't know what that would have done if it was at max level, to be honest. I don't think it's allowed to overstack. Oh, well. Yeah, thanks to our luck up from earlier, we are clearing pretty consistently. Yeah, no, no, I'm aware of that, Murphy. I mean, like, what if a passive drops that I already max? Does it just convert it to gold? If it's on the world map already? Oh, there's Fire One, finally. Oh, I can finally go get the chest upgrade. I would like to point out we have like plus 100% luck and not a single chest has given us more than one. That's pretty terrible. Oh well. At least maybe now I have the piercing fireball. Yeah, I want those chests to just be money at the end versus a passive. Which I guess is a little greedy to go for. Okay, chat, you level Pichone to 8. We should get something for that. And I think that was the first time we did Santa Water's combination. We should get something for that as well. The trap door picking up literally from full screen almost. Eventually, I need those gems to condense down, but right now it doesn't matter. I think it's crazy that we're at 100% luck and not a single time has Laurel come up in like the past 10 levels. Kind of heinously abysmal. Oh well. This is the Reaper's power. This is the Reaper's power. I'm gonna take the rosary. One day that'll become gold, so I can get better things for the character. So if we hit level 40, which we already have, we'll unlock the next area, which should give us the map, and then I can find the items more consistently here, because I know there's like the cursed mask. There's like a bonus character to the far right. But I think I'd rather get the map first and then we'll go do that. So that, that way I don't walk by it like an idiot. Because I've done that before. <laughs> Even though it's a big coffin, I still walk by it. Oh, max attract door brain. Sure. I still have healing over here. That poor flower wall was deleted, chat. The double rosary... Which I did not mean to pick up. That's the the power of a tractor. Deleted no everything. Mercy. Yeah, that was brutal. I would like that red gem. Oh, I didn't collect as much as I was hoping. So what I'm actually going to do is hold still. I want to make sure the XP gathers in a way that I could quickly collect it. So I think between the crosses and the whip, we should be fine for a little bit. I want the XP to accumulate. And thanks to Piercing Fire Wand, we actually have decent range. Is this doing like 200 plus? I think it is critting. Which is very silly, by the way. Oh, hello. Chat woke me up. Chat's trying to make sure I'm paying attention. So I think thanks to Laurel and Empty Tome, we should probably be fine for the run. Armor will help us survive the final couple minutes at some point. Okay, did that condense? Okay, we got some XP from it. Oh, looks like chat wants me potentially tanky. Oh, no. Wings one out. More movement speed. I think in a couple minutes, I just have to pick up these chests. 
no matter what happens. Because I don't think I have enough time to get back to the other chest and get gold. We've been leveling pretty quickly, but... The, the plus and downside of Attract Orb, it is easier to get items, but it's harder to group XP. More damage, potentially. Chat making sure I'm tanky. That's fair. Alright, let's whip a bit more, get our health back up. I think I'm just gonna pick these up. Just to make sure that I can... How, we, how are we only getting singles? <laughs> that is so unlucky. Chat, that is so unlucky. We're the 100% luck, chat. That's not even low. Oh, hello, Batswarm. Well, give me some XP. Game, please. <laughs> please give me a triple. Wow. You would swear I'm at, like, negative luck. You would swear, chat. Not a single one was double or triple. Holy. Terrible luck. <laughs> actually, actually bottom tier luck. So I can see it in the bottom left. I know that says luck plus 100%. I would not believe it based upon what we've been seeing. Or whatever. Yeah, we're starting to get bullied a little bit. And that's fine. That's what the final level ups are all, all about. That's survival. Yeah, cross having bigger AoE. Be big. I can somewhat push into them thanks to Laurel. But I still gotta be semi careful. We still have more damage to go, and pretty much all of our final levels are going to be defensive, which is perfect, I think. More cross, I think, is fine. Yes, yeah, towards the end, they're going to be immune to pushback or knockback. I guess I'll just keep going for now. I'm going to go to the left. So sadly we didn't get a we didn't get the clover, but we can max our damage with cross. Might be important. At least it scales well with Laurel. That is huge. That rosary was huge. One shots the whole room. Pretty much no matter what it is, it's useful. I need to go to the left while we still have time left. Taking little bits of damage. Oh, hello, boss. I don't recognize you. I feel like they added you. I don't think you were in the the uh, pre-release version. The witch. That like the Ghost Rider was, and like the the witch on the broomstick was, but not like the old hag. I don't think that was in the original. I'm gonna just take this. How did we still not get a triple? I just wanna max these levels and move on. Game, please. Okay, we're down to only a couple things left to max. I think she's the sprite they changed from the earlier build, maybe. She was definitely not in our original playthrough. She is very tanky though. But not tanky enough, it seems. There we go. I just want to max out so we can start getting gold. But that should be huge. So we got an additional charge, which will help with survival towards the last couple of minutes. We reduced the cooldown, which is huge. Shield and vulnerability time up. Okay. And we increased movement speed. There we go. We're almost at max level. So those chests I've been holding will finally turn into just money. So I think between these things, Laurel should give me downtime to heal. I 
don't want to pick up those healths yet. Ultra wave. I'm afraid to ask what chat just did. Uh, okay. Well, we're almost at max Laurel. That's good. I might need it. The more invulnerability means more time healing in between. I see the Medusa. We just need, I think, two more levels. Medusa is all over me. Get away from me, Medusa. Come on, just need like a couple more levels before the timer ticks up. Okay, so that's the final one, so the rest should just be money now. Which will help, because our character needs a lot of upgrades. Chone MVP. Chan, I'm very deeply disappointed. <laughs> How are we still getting singles? Wow. Lots of singles. Not worth. Oh, chat has decisions on that? That sucks. Is there a way to permanently just select money bag? Chat's, chat's gonna get a lot of these. <laughs> I don't think we need health up. Because we now maxed out, so it's just gonna continually do this. There we go. We still have health items down there if I really need them. But I think I've collected all the chests. I ignored the green arrow, which is fine. We can deal with that later. As I said before, we're we're gonna explore once we get the map. Oh no, ch chat summoned skeleton swarm in this mass. At least we have a mount plus one. That helps a lot with our ability to clear with clear the rooms. But I'll probably get rid of recovery for a little bit. There we go. Lots of money. Three thousand is enough to get a good upgrade, I think, because we're pretty early in the upgrade tree. I could probably get like permanently armor plus one. I think we have cooldown. Actually, maybe cooldown isn't max. If cooldown is not max, I'm going to take that. Then I'll take armor. Because the ability to take even just one less damage a hit early on is kind of huge. What is Candy Box? I don't think I've seen that one before. A box of candy, says Murphy. Fair. I think I got time for another stage. This is it before. Today's sadly going to be a short stream. We've almost made it to the 30 minute mark. Thanks to Laurel, I'm not all that worried. Allows you to choose any unlock based weapon. Oh. Oh, I get to choose? Um, I don't know if it, I don't know if I can level it at this point. What do we have that would level from what we got? Magic one would technically upgrade. Bible combos. Do, do I have the thing that goes with Bible? I didn't think I did. The whip, whip is the heart. Fire Wand is Spinach, Attract Orb is Santa Wooder, Armor is Ricochet Rock, Doomstone I'm pretty sure was Magic Wand. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I only have Magic Wand. I might as well just get this, I guess. I, I mean, <laughs> Chad, you have many choices here. <laughs> I might as well just try to max it, because I don't think we got the upgrade for this before. But sadly, I don't think I have any chests left to upgrade it, unless that big creature there is going to drop a chest. 
On the plus side, our clear speed should be phenomenal. Speaking of which... <laughs> yeah, that big Medusa might give us the final thing that I'm looking for. We might be able to rush this in a minute. Maybe. Sadly, I don't have the dog unlocked, or else we could have cheesed death, I think. We're so close. More wand. At least we have a steady boss damager if I really need to kill a boss quickly. There is a boss above us. Passing through targets is huge. That's nice. Candy box very strong, as we found out. Ooh, and thanks to that, I should be able to get the upgrade because the chest dropped. That'll be new for the playthrough. This playthrough, specifically. Because I see it's not telling us we have the combo. I'm just going to make a beeline for it. There we go. We unlocked the Holy Wand. The rest of this is just making sure I have some money for the next build. So this should co cover cooldown if I don't have it. Otherwise, I'll just undo my points. There we go. We got two things we didn't evolve before. Because I'm pretty sure we never did Santa Water. I don't think we did the Wand last time. We definitely did the Whip before. Fire Wand, I think we also did not upgrade before. That's nice. That should give us a few achievements. Even if it's just gold, it's fine. But I'm pretty sure hitting max level with weapons unlocks more weapons or other items. As we saw before. At this point, we're just kind of getting little, little, little bits of money. Chat's like, I'm tired of pressing one. Ah! <laughs> so many ones in the chat. Yeah, we're just squeezing out gold, so I feel like... Oh, wow, I hit a rosary. Oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I'm looking at the bottom left. We have a mount plus one from the other thing. I don't have any luck score. I don't think I might. I have one point, I think, in armor. All of which would be huge. I don't think I can lose this before the 30-minute mark. I think with Laurel, Whip, and armor, we're pretty much invincible. Like, regardless of how long it takes to kill these things, I think we're fine. Without armor, I would still be scared. Don't get me wrong. Once we start getting armor in our passive tree, then I don't think we need armor to clear a run. Like, as long as we don't take damage for brief periods of time, Laurel should just recharge. We, we got a pretty safe combo going on. Gotta last 40 more seconds, and there's food I can still reach if I need it. I think at this point, due to Magic Wand and Cross, I should not need to move at all. Picking up that wand is huge, because that's going to push them back, because we don't have, like garlic or anything to increase the knockback so having constant knockback via wand is actually pretty big that's gonna end up letting me just kind of put the controller down for a little bit which i would not normally be able to do without that thank you magic wand you are a huge last second pickup it's also not even bad damage you to pierce Pichone doing its best Well, we're almost at 4,000 gold. I half wonder if I can wedge myself into furniture. 
to dodge death this early. Sadly, I think Magic 1 will push death towards me due to how death works. Since it, it receives negative knockback. The things like garlic will kill you instantly versus death. Where if we just had like Santa Water plus Chone, for example, I don't think it would normally move towards us. The magic Wand will make sure it suctions onto us and we die. We're so close to 4,000 in cash. That's huge. That's definitely a big upgrade for us. I think our most expensive one was 2k. I think we can afford more than one upgrade at this point. Yeah, they're not even touching Laurel Shield. It's a green rank. But we we have so many so many layers of defense. Yeah, Candy Box was one of my new favorites. Free passive was useful, sort of. Oh, I so badly just want to go on the piano. I don't know if I'll reach it in time, though. I did go for it immediately in my defense chat. Like, I, I held up before it even went to the 30-minute mark. But I think I'm going to die here. Unless... You know what, chat? We'll take this. Hmm. Hmm. The glorious cheese. So as long as the second death doesn't appear, I should do a lot of damage to this one. I don't know if I'll kill him in a minute, though. I mean, we do have crossfire wand, magic wand. Well, it's not like we're not doing damage, but the other one's likely to spawn in and, and spoil the, the BS that we're doing. However, we will get the achievement for lasting more than 30 minutes. So, second death should be appearing right about now, I think. Oh, he came on the other side? Yeah! Yeah! Premium cheese! Oh! Oh! Give me some of that cheddar, right, chat? Mmm. I still don't know if we'll kill him in time, but in theory we could. Sadly, our fire wand is targeting the furthest target. So we are very slowly chipping death out. So we haven't... So 32 minutes, we might be in trouble. So at least I can say I gave an keep honest on, attempt at killing on. death. Like, I tried. I don't think I could do more here. Laurel will give us, like, another 8 seconds of survivability if they come in on the left. It's such a shame our fire wand is going the wrong way. Oh, one of them died! Wait, we did actually kill a death. Oh no, he teleported. Never mind, he teleported. Aw, uh, the teleport. That's so sad. So close. I thought we killed him at first, then I saw he glitched. The fire wand to level 4, so we locked Arca. Arca's fun. See, there we go. Now we unlock Duplicator. I didn't think we had that. See, now you have Ebony Wings chat. Now you can unlock Pichone. But it's where death has over a million. Yeah, we were slowly chipping them out. But yeah, so we got 500 extra gold for all the new unlocks, which is big. That's definitely going to help with our thing. How much did Pichone do? Candy, Candy Fox did no damage, did no one surprise. Labora did 3.7 million, not surprised. Fire Wand did a lot. Holy Wand still did damage despite not being in the game very long, which is funny. How much did Pichone do? 1.7 million? You know what? That's kind of surprising. Pichone actually finally did DPS. It out DPS Bloody Tear, which is funny. <laughs> Pichone was putting in the work at the end of the game. Yeah, let's actually go fix our power-ups. I love there's a quick start now unlocked. Um, so we always do most expensive first. And I think it's cooldown, right? I think cooldown is the most expensive one. I don't care about these other abilities. Yeah, it's cooldown. Double dip. Uh, Probably duration up, I'm just thinking. Ooh, armor is actually more expensive. Can I just triple armor? Oh, that's huge. Everything else is roughly the same tier, so as long as I do double duration, max health, max health, max health, regen.
think that's fine. I don't really care about might. I just want to make sure I survive. <laughs> so I think between the duration of armor and health, we should be okay. Should be okay. Eventually, we'll put it in might. I don't care about growth. Growth is when we're done with the game. We'll go bother with that. And luck is also nice, but unless I'm going for a specific build, which in CC, that doesn't really matter. Also, I forgot to buy a character first. Uh, I, s I could still get one, though. Hmm. Recovery is awkward. Uh, it saved me several times. It's one of those ones where it's really good with armor. And as long as I'm... It's just kind of free health, honestly. There's a lot of times I'll die because I'm just not recovering any health. The so recovering potentially half a health a second across like five minutes does make a difference when I don't get any health ups. So I, I've had runs saved due to that before. I don't super care about might because most of the time we do enough damage. When we get to like the higher areas, I want might over recovery, but the early areas, I want recovery. When we don't have easy access to candelabras, I'd rather do that. I'm just thinking about what I want with this one. Weapon cooldown is reduced by 5%. I kind of like Arca, although this, technically we need to play as this one to unlock Ricochet Stone. I guess I should do this to unlock Ricochet Stone. So let's very briefly go to the dairy plan. So if we max this out, I believe it'll unlock it full time. There we go. So I definitely want to pick up the map that should be here, and then I could go pick up the relic in the other stage if we got time. Ooh, pentagram early. Interesting. Just one point is enough. Uh, That did not save us last time. I'm going to disagree with that. Now that I have armor, it's not too bad. They could do stuff like that and not just perish instantly. Thank you, armor. We really need another weapon. Ricochet stone's not bad, don't get me wrong, but we definitely need a little, a little oomph. I, I'm not even going to question what Chad is about to pick. Yeah, now that we have armor up, I don't think our deaths are going to be that fast, unless we're at, like, the 20-minute mark. Whereas, like, I'm going to take a lot of incidental chip damage, especially due to CC. Oh, play sources. Speaking of which... Before I get those relics, I really need another weapon or something. Armor pairs with Ricochet Stone, but also Santa Water King Bible, either I think is fine. Let's see what we get. I think there's free armor in this stage, if I remember correctly. But I'll, I'll need the map to pinpoint where it is exactly, because I think if I pause, yeah, I don't see where it is currently. Power of the Bible. Pichone clearing the crowd a little bit. There we go. Thank you, Pichone. Rip those enemies. Yeah, we'll need luck bonus eventually if we want to do like a pentagram route. That's the only downside. Pentagram is pretty bad without luck. Because it's always going to get rid of our XP. Once you get luck, then it's like godlike. And Bonanza. Uh, I'm gonna ignore it for now. I wish I could get a sense of how far those items were from me. Oh, oh it's called Rune Tracer. I was gonna say, we, we call it Ricochet Stone because we know what it is, but it's fine.
Uh, so one of them has to be getting very close because I see it deviating. Might be the, where the map is. I don't know what the second relic is. Yeah, this should be the map. Okay, so the mystery, the question mark should be the new character. So it should be free wings and armor here, which is interesting. So I would probably prefer a chat not to pick up the wings. I'm going to see what this other item is. I don't know what the item is. Yeah, the problem is I don't think I can kill the thing protecting the question mark currently. So I'm not going to go towards that until we have more items. Activate the cart. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the other guards are kind of mad at us. Oh, they got popped. Fortunate. Oh no, Ebony Wings is here. Chat's true beloved is here. I'll eventually pick up the wing. No, I wouldn't. As I said before, I would not worry about that. I'll take this so I don't have to go back towards it. Okay, that's huge. Three weapon upgrades is absolutely what I want. I can finally get some kills. We get the little glitch where the Bibles stack briefly. I'm glad they never decided to never change that. There we go. Now all we need is uh, Empty Tome. I think we're in business. So armor pairs with our thing. Bracer is technically good with our build. Axe is fine. We're almost out of weapon slots, which is funny. That's like faster Pachone in Bibles. Oh my gosh, we actually kept it? Isn't our luck bonus zero? Yeah. I guess there's just always a base chance even without luck. I'm used to just maxing luck due to pentagram and combining it with crown. Oh, that was the rosary. That makes more sense. <laughs> That's why I got confused. I saw the screen clear. I guess it didn't have the pentagram symbol now that I think about it. Yeah, there we go. Rip the enemies. I'd really prefer to level here. Okay. We're down to our final weapon choice, or we can level what we have. We know eventually we'll get another weapon slot if we combine with wings. Sadly, Chat cannot level Pachone. Uh, let's focus on getting some experience. I think we're falling kind of far behind. Yeah, projectile speed up definitely helps with the bounces. I think as we level, we get it automatically, which is nice. There's armor to pair with it, or if Chat wants to get cross. I'm not really sure what Chat wants as the final weapon, to be honest. Well, penultimate, I guess, since we'll te technically get the other upgrade. Fire one's fair. More projectiles. I had already offered Drowner. I didn't notice that one. I saw the crab first. Yeah, we basically just need Empty Tome, and then we're, we're kind of in business. Oh, a duplicate? Oh, Empty Tome and Duplicator? Oh, that's brutal. Chad, we want both of those. <laughs> I, You know what, Chad? I don't blame you. Honestly, all three of those are what we need eventually. But yeah, Duplicator is super good. It is just DPS galore. That was kind of, If we could get that level up again, that would be amazing. I can afford to just run into things a little bit here because there's some free food. on a decent level up all 
Okay. Rune Tracer almost leveled. If Rune Tracer hits max level, we'll be able to get the, uh... I think one where it scales off of armor or something like that. Oh, rip all those items. That really sucks. Pentagram destroying the chest there is super brutal. I think I gotta keep moving. Yeah, I, I don't like Pentagram this early. What is this? I don't recognize this. Normally allows access list of defeated enemies for a main menu. Okay. New thing. That was not a thing before. Ooh. A little bit of damage from that. Yeah, it's one of those ones where, like, I think with Clover... I think chat was trying to do Clover to make that a bit less painful. Which I, I appreciate. But... Pentagram is awkward. Oh, candy, bo oh, candy box? <laughs> Double Drowner? Oh my gosh. It's monstrous. You get Pentagram now if you want. I picked up the XP. Otherwise, Fire One's fine. <laughs> Double Drowner? That's just monstrous. <laughs> it's like, that's actually like Satan tier. <laughs> Holy. That's terrible. Uh, come on. Survive. Come on, Pichone. Oh, come on. We're getting no clear speed. Damn, getting punished for no might. Okay, candy box. I get to choose whatever I want. It's funny that we have bone unlocked. Um. I mean, I guess I'll just go knife, because we've got a uh, bracer. But I technically might want whip. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I could live dangerously. Yeah, I do want lifesteal or some equivalency later. Downside is just, like, our damage is mediocre at the moment. Once we get a uh, duplicator, I think, or not duplicator. Once we get a uh, empty tome, I think we'll be fine. There we go. The hard enemies are mostly out of the way now, so we should be able to take some levels here. It's huge. Okay, so we could potentially get armor. I, I'm a little, I'm a little scared about pentagram while I'm picking up XP. Oh, chat made me, chat made me, like, cr I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, please don't delete those items. All right, we got Root Chaser up. That was scary. That could have been very bad. Chat's scaring me there. Oh, there's wings, but I think we get wings automatically. As I said before, I could just go pick them up. They're on the stage, as is the attract orb. There we go. Yeah, let's pick up this XP and then we'll be fine. Now it matters a little less if it gets nuked. Oh, Empty Tome is huge. Oh my gosh, please. <laughs> we, we, we need some damage. <laughs> Empower Pichone. There we go. Now I can start picking up items more consistently. There we go. Full Fever. I'll take it. There's armor again. Technically, you could try to bank on Ma Hollow Heart for later. Technically. Okay, got luckier. That'll go with Pentagram. Keep in mind, we need Crown guaranteed if you want to upgrade the other ability. Oops, I walked into the enemy. That was my bad. I would super prefer armor at some point. Since we do have the Rune Tracer. Because otherwise we can't upgrade the Rune Tracer. Oh, there's just some money back from that. That's a bit disappointing. Come on, health regen. Keep me alive, health regen. Honestly, all these are probably fun. I don't have armor, so sadly Rune Tracer cannot upgrade yet. But it's getting close. More Pachone.
How far am I from the wing? Too far away. Oh, so saying there's a time stop thing near me. I'm trying to discern what that icon was right away. Oh, that's huge. Anagram actually came in handy there. So we need crown and we need armor, and that'll complete our little thing. And I'll go pick up wing after we get those, I think. Rip the gems. Light source, huge for healing. Thank you, chat. Ooh, no armor up. That was a little scary. We'll take the healing, though. I'm taking these and leaving. Man. I'm very glad we took armor from our passives. I 100% would have died earlier. We got one more health up, which I don't need, like, literally right this minute. But I think with Pentagram, I can't afford to leave a chest on the floor. Because we could just lose it randomly. Yeah, you can see we're, we're struggling a little bit. But I think it's just because of the uh, lack of level ups lately. There we go. I'm gonna go pick this up. Nice. Oh, perfect. Never mind. Okay, our damage is set. <laughs> We're set for a while. That is huge. Now Pichone should be attacking almost constantly now. Perfect. Yeah, this, this run in terms of treasure luck is so much better than the run with the 100% luck, which should not really happen, to be honest. That's kind of embarrassing how bad that luck was with 100 luck. Just like, why? Why was it so bad? I will take that immediately and not wait. All right. As I said before, I can't afford to do that due to pentagram, so I think we lost one chest that way already. Oh, that's more Miss Scary. Please get away from me. Yeah, so there's the mystery character to the right. There's Candelabra to the right as well. I could try to go for the mystery character. Take some items for here. There we go. Nice level up. Oh, please give me armor, chat. I beg of you. <laughs> I, I need this so bad for the, the Rude Tracer. Alright, perfect. Ooh, the crown. The crown for the pentagram. I think we're done. I think we're done, because once you pick that up, chat, I'm, I can go get the wing. I'll go back for the wing, just for you. Yeah, that's huge. Well, Rune Chaser close to maxing, but Ebony Wing is also there. I won't blame you for following your heart. Do whatever you feel like, chat. I think we're in a good position now. I'm starting to make up for lack of XP. Follow your heart, chat. Believe in the Ebony Wing. But the wing is not super far from me. I can also just get the Attract Orb. I can always get bonus characters later. Honestly, I want to try to keep the run alive if we can. Ooh, empty tome is so tempting. Oh, nice. Come on, Bible. Full uptime Bible. Almost. Okay, at least I'm able to kind of bully my way out of here. So I'm going to go pick up the Attractor for free. And we're going to pick up the wing right after that. Thank you, Pentagram. This way somewhere. I could just get, like, one more level up. That would be super nice.
Yeah, I wish I had Fire Breath or something. Oh, speaking of which. Speaking of which, thank you, Chad. <laughs> I'm like, I just need a quick room clear. So we're like one level away from Rune Tracer maxing, which will be huge. Oh, now it maxed. Now we just need to kill a boss, potentially. I think if you use Pentagram, it doesn't really matter. So this is a pretty safe level to use it. I I'm already gathering the items. I don't think they could be deleted mid-gather. I was wrong, apparently. I did not think you could get... I don't think you could delete the mid-gather. That's fine. We have Fire Breath. I'd rather have that for later, anyway. Okay, so let's make our way towards Attract Orb. Today we learned... Near me. No, nah, that's fine. I mean, it was like almost a 50-50. Oh, luck boost would be huge. Luck boost would be super huge. Um, you could go ahead and pentagram things, I think. Even if that deletes the other item, I don't think it matters. Otherwise, I'll take whatever attack gives me. We cleared it out, so it should just be within visible range, but I'm not seeing it yet. There it is. Oh, that's just a regular attract orb. My bad, I misunderstood what that is. Alright, so I'm still gonna go to the wings for chat. I'll do it for chat. Ooh, empty tome. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the duration extender one, I've noticed. Which is like, I'm glad I took the duration up since we did get Bible. And also, technically, the stone couples with that. Uh, whatever chat wants here. I think all these are useful for different reasons. We have a lot of projectiles. I'm taking a lot of damage. More damage is fine. Whatever chat decides. I uh, we'll take that. We're gonna get luck boost, which should help with the pentagram pretty significantly at this point. So it should just be guaranteed XP. So many projectiles. Yeah, next time we get a chance to level up, it's going to be towards Might, just to get a little bit of boosted damage. Because I think in Library and the other place, we don't need it, but here it's, like, arguable we need it. Uh, oh, I hit Max, so I should take this. Alright, so we got upgraded Rune Tracer and more XP and more luck, which is pretty huge. So I should just have guaranteed Pentagram now. I'm going to do this to level up chat's items. The crown is now useful. Since we have a consistent way of getting XP, we just need more damage. Pentagram is just a free kill at this point. Due to us having 70 luck, I think literally every percent is a percent pr Pentagram doesn't delete things. So I think that's just 100% free room clear whenever chat wants. I don't think there's anything the enemy can do about that anymore. That minecart was huge. It was a, a very important spawn that just happened. We actually got Pentagram to max, so if we get another chest, potentially that would be amazing. We're just kind of nuking the room over and over. Oh, and another level up? Wow. Okay. I mean, this is good. I need some clear potential. We still might be able to take advantage of Clover with Cross later. Because keep in mind, we're going to eventually free up a weapon slot. Thank you for the light sources. Looking to see if any of them were fire breathing. One of them is slow mo, but it's on the other side. I can't pick it up. Less. Kind of working. I don't know if that was worth, but I'm getting closer to it.
Yeah, if I end up with Candelabra at the end, that would make Pichone pretty strong. Nice. Oh, free passive is kind of huge. I'm making my way towards the wings for chat. Should be pretty close, yeah. So the more armor we get, the better Rune Tracer becomes, which is nice. Sadly, I haven't seen an opportunity to level armor. We need like one more point in armor when we get a chance. Otherwise, Pachone getting closer to max power. Ooh, recovery hard. Sure. I'm okay with that. That's just free health. So let's go towards the wings for chat. I haven't seen like a boss monster in a while. I think I might be scrolling a mob screen or something. Should be pretty close. So we have like near constant uptime between the different ones, which is kind of nice. I see this item. Question mark. There's so many graphics happening, I feel like I just don't see it because of Pachone. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, there's a lot of visual happening. Um It says I'm on it, but I don't see it. Deuce the swarm. There's the boss. I'm gonna pause again. I don't see where the wing is. To the right. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Alright, so now we got faster movement. Oh, a candy box right now would be huge. Wow, candy candy box definitely breaks the game difficulty significantly. Thank you, candy box. Wow, he survived a pentagram. What a beast. So let me... Can I double check my levels? Okay, so pentagram can level up from this. So I, I should take this chest immediately. If we could kill him. I mean, he's taking constant knives and hasn't died yet. It's kind of insane. He also survived the nonsense that is this. I would like to get to that candy box, but this boss will not die. Aim, please. Thank you. Huh? Oh, I level before taking the box. I was like, what just happened? I'm like, why isn't this the box? That's fine. These don't really matter. <laughs> you see that, Chad? It was the same frame. That's why I got confused. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we got the ridiculous upgrade. This will help a lot. Oh, there it is. Uh, what do you think, chat? I'll, I'll let chat decide. I, I picked my own item last time. We have garlic for knockback. We have axe potentially for candelabra. We could get cross to get the other one. Chat wants to see lightning ring. Welcome, Brixian. I think it makes sense. We got duplicator. So it's still going towards something. Take lightning ring then. There we go. Now we should be leveling super fast. Get a leveling super fast. Thank you, Crown.
Yeah, this run is out of control. Thank you, Candy Box. So I might have been punished a little bit for not at least putting one point in Might, but now I don't think it matters at all. Now I definitely prefer the health recovery. <laughs> They're still leveling. Oh my gosh. Big level up. I know, we have so many items now. Ooh, armor. Armor is actually huge. There's my survivability up, and that improves Rune Tracer, as a reminder. <laughs> Chat's like, more X. <laughs> Look at much XP that was. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We're still leveling. Oh man. Ridiculous. <laughs> I think we left a little bit of XP behind, chat. Something tells me. This is the stream now. It's gonna be chat just picking numbers. <laughs> there, there, there is no. There's nothing else we need to do. Holy! <laughs> Look how many levels we didn't have. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, at least our level up problems are over. We left that all behind earlier, picking things up. Holy, still going somehow. Question mark. Okay, we have health recovery and armor, which is a good pairing. <laughs> that was a monstrously important upgrade we got. Holy. Is chat going to get ebony wings to max? <laughs> I feel like at this rate it might happen. Oh my gosh. Anyway, remember when we had damage problems, chat? I don't remember that anymore. Yeah, chat, we just picked up Lightning Ring. How is it level 5 already? I know you're going to make it level 5. It's so good. Holy. <laughs> well, chat, needless to say, I left behind a lot of XP to go pick up these items. We got rewarded hugely <laughs> for, for delaying it. Holy. Even my Bible clear is faster. Holy. Yeah! I guess I'm I guess I'm just hitting max level. <laughs> you should crown for more XP. Chat's a monster. Chat's actually monstrous. <laughs> we basically just did like Zawurudo. <laughs> just time stop. The enemy we just like went through like the biggest power jump of all time. Look how many Bibles there are, because how many times we leveled. Holy. Anyway, I could go to the right. There's the attract orb in the in the upper left. I don't think I could reach that. Let's go for the candelabra. I could have technically Oh, there's another clover. The there we go, chat. We got more luck up for some reason. Oh boy, here comes the death. There we go, big level up. So we got some good damage. We have some survivability with armor regen. We don't have life steal, but I think the rest is probably good enough for now. Wow, rosary into that. Chat is cruel. Did we get anything new? Oh, I can't actually upgrade yet. Somehow, somehow we're not able to upgrade our weapons. I was looking to see, because we, we need uh, Kichone's counterpart at level 8. Okay, defense up is good. I might leave that Your guy for now. No oh, we're still taking a lot of damage on contact. That's a bit scary. Come on, Bible, do your thing. That also works. I'm going to hold still. Regen some HP. You know, just in case this happens to level us. The Ebony Wings needs two more levels, or Bible needs two more levels. But we all know deep in chat's heart, you're picking Ebony Wings. It's okay. Chat, chat has been dying to see this upgrade. There we go. One more level up. Come on, one more level up. I think it's worth staying here on the off chance that I get Ebony Wings again. Otherwise, I could come back. We didn't get it. Bible's pretty close, though. That's like a 50-50 of being an upgrade. Actually, no, I don't have the duration up. Never mind, Bible doesn't matter. I lied. <clears throat> I mean, I'll still take duration up for sure. 
Oh yeah, here's the deal. I will wait for this, and this should presumably level us. Lightning ring is close to max. So many things close to capping. The chat's gonna potentially eliminate Bible here. But I know I can't get the upgrade because I don't have the duration up thing. Come on, we need one more of those. That should have been Ebony Wings for chat. Wow, chat getting, chat getting super unlucky. We're at 80% luck, and it still will not give us any wings. That's brutal. But at least chat eliminated an option from appearing again, I guess. So hopefully with this, we will go up, get this upgrade and move on. Wow. I like how it says increase your luck for a chance to get four choices. We're at 80% luck. That's not even low. <laughs> like, it's like, like that's actually decent. <laughs> Game, Game's hating. Yeah, game's actually trolling now. I think I might miss my window of opportunity to go get that secret character due to the game bad RNG there. That is so unfortunate. Because I really don't want to leave this chest behind because I'm not going to come back to it if we leave at this point. I was thinking, you know, with four level ups, we would get, be able to get at least one weapon to increase, but apparently not. Elton Swarm, I think, is actually huge here. This is free XP. Come on, important level up. There we go. There's Ebony Wings. Now I can go pick up that chest. I'd like it I'd like it to be known we literally killed another boss before we got the Vandalier to unlock. Dagger's pretty close to unlocking. So you did it, Chad. You unlocked it. Whoa, that did a lot of damage to us. Uh, this is going to be a bit rough. Oh boy, we haven't been getting any armor upgrades. Uh, I think I might die here. Unless we get saved. Come on, survive. Alright, that's huge. Yeah. Yeah, we got so many items. Sadly, none of them are armor. I think it's a bit late. I think armor now no longer matters because I took too much damage. We got an okay amount of health regen at least. Bandolier empowerment might be interesting. I do want to make sure we hit a bigger area, so if we make that more useful, that would be huge. Oh boy. I think it's GG. I don't have anything that pushes them back, like Magic Wand. So we're purely just trying to out DPS them before they bump into us randomly. I can't pick up that health, it's out of range. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad, Chad. It was out of range. So sad. GG. But hey, we unlocked the basic items, which is nice. There's Spellbinder. Now we could get the Bible increase. Pristine is a lot of fun. I might unlock that character before we do anything else. That character with luck bonus is so dumb. Okay, we unlock Rune Tracer permanently. Unlock character customization. Interesting. Don't know what that is. More money. More money. More money. Okay. Just adventures. I'm curious, but I don't think I have time to do anything with that. So, 
Let's refund the power-ups. Let's do this. Actually, is luck in this one the same tier? Oh, no, they're not. Alright, let's... Let's manipulate our luck a little more, because our luck was terrible. Um... I think I still did that in the wrong way. Okay. Hate that. Let's try... One of each, these. A little, just a tiny bit of health. Rest and might. Maybe that'll be okay. I don't need like a lot of area or speed, but it would be nice if we had those. I just want to make sure because we tend to pick a lot of things that have duration. Like if, if chat constantly picks Pachone, it makes sense to take duration. And area up kind of makes sense. And at least we have some damage now. So this should go a little smoother if we were to play again. I'm kind of curious what Adventures is, but let's take a look at our unlocks. Welcome to Adventures. Each Adventures self-contained story, series of daring side quests composed of remix content for the base game. Base game is discontinued from Adventures and is affected by progress in making them only your unlock relics carry over to Adventures, boldly took on challenges. Okay. So it's like a challenge mode. Okay. New. Not played with that before. It said I could customize the characters, right? Before I go further. Eggs. I'm assuming that has to do with the stat up item that's later in the game. I think right now that doesn't matter. Oh, I forgot to save money for Christine. This is the Reaper's power. Uh, that's fine. So I think next time we'll just try to get some basic wins in. So we've we've been carried by Antonio. Because again, his ability, his ability to have plus one armor and twenty health is surprisingly relevant. I did have fun with Pascalina, but they're kind of like their starting weapon is okay. I definitely prefer the whip as a starting weapon, and things like Fire Wand or Axe are just kind of insane. So for me, I like those a lot. Um, yeah, I think we I think we won with the the cleric character for for a little while just because they had such ridiculous abilities, and the fact that Porta has a ninety five percent cooldown is kind of insane. So maybe I will just try to unlock another one of those characters, like. This character alone is just ridiculous. I just, <laughs> like, between Christine and Porta, I think they're probably my early favorites. And we'll unlock the dog to cheese death, I think, again at some point. Remember, chat, when I played Old Soul and death couldn't hit me? That was hilarious. <laughs> we'll, we'll eventually do some of those. Yeah, now that I can afford the luck bonus, I have a reason to go for Christine, because... Christine without any luck bonus when you get 0% zero, zero chance of getting the XP is kind of brutal. But starting out with, you know, 30%. At least I'll get it 30% at the time. Poe po felt terrible. I did not like playing as Poe. Or Kurochi, honestly. Both of those characters. Like, nah. I did like uh the... the Bay Bayonetta? Yeah, Bayonetta character. So we'll probably go unlock those next time we go to play. We'll just specifically go pick up the character chest. Because I just don't even have money to unlock them. We're so early in the game. So unlocking characters is not, like, the biggest thing for me. I think having Rune Tracer is okay. Oh, interesting. There's a lot more down here. All of the Mirage Robe. We have a lot of Moon Spell characters. These are all new. Apparently Santa's here. So I, I guess future spoilers. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. But anyway, chat, let's take a break here. You wanna know? Yeah, pretty much. Let's talk about it. Since sadly, as I said before, today will be a short stream. I think I had fun with the changes that are here. In terms of the base gameplay, I'm not sure. They probably left the stat increases. Welcome, Meg Bear. They probably left the stat increases in the game, which I felt very mixed about. I kind of liked just kind of surviving on your own versus just becoming literally unkillable. So I might turn those off if we go to play, if we get to that point. Then it came to collect his water. I think so. So I think we'll just continue to go through the game. As I said before, we now have the map. 
So it should be a lot easier to pick up the stage items, whether it's like a curse thing or health up. And now that we have some money, we could afford to start purchasing characters. So I'm mostly happy with where we were. We, we managed to get more weapon unlocks. Uh, we can unlock things like the permanent Bible. Uh, garlic is okay early on. Eventually, we're just not going to bother with garlic. We're still in that early game phase where we just don't have those uh, truly broken combos. Uh, but we'll we'll get there eventually. But anyway, that's all for now, chat. Sadly, I do gotta go. I'd just like to say, uh, I guess, goodbye to YouTube first. If you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching, and hope to see you again next time.